Neil Gaiman's 2005 book, The Anansi Voice, is sheer entertainment. It's been called genre-busting because it doesn't fit in anywhere quite. Uh, a little bit modern fantasy, le legend, myth, mystery, a little bit of romance, a little bit seat-of-the-pants excitement. Um, the main character is Fat Charlie Nancy, um, who's just a basically bewildered, sort of nice guy trying to figure things out in this um, fast-paced, high-tech world he lives in. But the story really comes together when Fat Ch Charlie's embarrassing father decides to die mid-song in a karaoke bar. At that point, Fat Charlie soon discovers that his father was actually Anansi, the um, legendary spider god Small G of Africa. And not only that, um, but Fat Charlie has a brother he never knew who he had. And now the brother, Spider, um, who lives by the rules no better than Fat Charlie's father did, has decided to move in to, to, with Fat Charlie to his house. And uh, the excitement goes down from there, goes up from there, I should say. Um, um, it told in Gaiman's um, definitely offbeat sort of style, uh, the Anansi Boys is entertainment from beginning to end, and um, sheer, sheer fun. I'd recommend it to anybody who needs to read something different for the weekend.